to the king for the final time. McLaren, McLaren, Mercedes, and here comes Robin Liddell. He's got a fantastic run out of the king. My goodness, the Scotsman was brave there. Barely damp as far as <laughs> as far as Liddell is concerned. He comes down the inside, then switches to the outside of Canada corner. He's got the second. He's got the second. Fourth to second round the outside in the wet at Canada corner. Robert Liddell, you superstar. <laughs> what an overtake. Stop the presses. Stop the voting. That's the overtake of the year right there. There will not be a better one. He's not going to win it, I don't think, as Foss goes up the inside, trying to get third position from Corey Fergus. Fergus restarting the lead. He might not be even on the podium. Coming to the line. 75 minutes has elapsed. Here comes the McLaren. The McLaren will win. No, he won't. Oh. He won't. I don't believe it. Liddell's won it. Liddell's won it on the line. Liddell has won it. The American muscle has beaten the European ridiculous. style. Liddell from <laughs> way back in the park. Look. Robert Liddell did not lift off. He's got to have been spinning the wheels all the way up the hill there. That's extraordinary. Liddell wins it by 0 0.070 of a second. The best, the best <laughs> final lap you will ever see for all of those guys. And the man who started and led through Corey Fergus to start the last lap finishes in seventh position. Yeah, he was a little bit conservative down there on the last lap, but look, he's looking at the championship here. But I think Kuna Wimmer, he must have just lifted off. I don't think he saw that, uh, that the Chevy oh. was right behind him.